Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to take my lunch, and I thought I would uh, ask y'all's advice about something. Um, I told Sylvester Berg Blue that I wasn't going to do a story time. It's kind of a story time, but it's... I don't know. Not really. Anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to get you guys' advice. Um... Just recently, um, well, over over a span of, I don't know, maybe a year or something like that, I had noticed that a, um, across the street from um, my local grocery store, it's kind of across the street. Anyway, there's a little, there's a little old strip mall. It's, it's real old. There's a, there's a, uh, a little bar stuck in there. Um, some, you know, some empty lots, there's a laundry down the way, um, but I noticed that there was a liquor store getting ready to move in there, or doing something, and, uh, I was like, that would be cool, another liquor store in my, my area, um, I've got two liquor stores, they're just small, holes on the wall type, you know, places. Um, but uh, there's, uh, so this one here, they weren't open yet. It was in process of probably doing some renovating inside there and stuff. Um, but uh, anyway, the little liquor store is called E&E. And, &E, and uh, <clears throat> I was like, I was excited to, you know, to know that there was going to be a liquor store in there. A uh, different little place. The ones that are, my, the other two local ones have been around here forever. Um, and they, they're, they're, they're decent little liquor stores. They just don't get a lot of, you know, new stuff in. Or, um, although the, the, for the most part, one, one at least, the people are really nice. Uh, the other one, mm, not so much, um, <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, this new one here, I've been kind of keeping an eye on it, you know, waiting for it to, you know, open up, didn't know if they'd ever get off the ground, you know, because everything going on, sometimes you, you have to put things on hold, but uh, I'd noticed uh, a couple days ago, a couple days ago? that there was a blinking open sign in the window. So I went over there and and talked to them and they'd been open at that time. They'd been open for a couple weeks, I think. Um, but they don't have a whole lot of space in there. Um, the young man, Eric, I was talking to, uh, said uh, that they plan on expanding a little bit. Don't know exactly what he meant in that area or maybe getting another liquor store going somewhere or something um but uh so he had told me that um that they're just getting started out they their freezers or their refrigerators were coming soon so they're going to have refrigerators in there so that's a good a good plus for them to have that um so they had a small selection of stuff in there. Um, nothing really that I was interested in at the time. I just wanted to see, you know, check them out and uh, tell them who I was and stuff and and uh, what I'm interested in. Um, just a few things. Um, but uh, uh, the folks there, they're named Eric and Erica, which I thought that was interesting. Um, so very nice people and uh, I don't know their relationship. I don't know. I don't think they're husband and wife. They're not. I don't think they're boyfriend or girlfriend. I think they're just partners in the business. Um, but uh, um, Erica was writing some things down that I was saying, so they're interested in what I had to say, which I thought that was cool. Um, so um, I wanted to. I've been. I've been writing some things down to kind of give them 
a little advice about some of the things that I've seen that I'm impressed with liquor, you know, the liquor stores that I've, um, some of the liquor stores that I've been in, some of the features they have, I'm impressed with, you know, or how the liquor store handles themselves and what I don't like about some that they do. Um, so I wanted to get you guys' in input. Maybe you can help me before I take this notebook by and give to them. Um, see if you have any other ideas for me to write down to give them. Um, if I was just starting out with the liquor store, um, I think it's their, their first liquor store, you know. Um, I would be, you know, unfamiliar with some of the things, um, about ideas about what to order, um, what to have on hand for people, um, some things to bring people in to show interest uh, in in your place, something that stands out um, different from other places. Um, you know, just stuff like that. So I wrote down some things I'm going to tell you guys and uh, get your input and advice about some things, some ideas, some of the things I can write down for them. Um, and they can use this if they want, if they, if they ra rather not, I understand they have their own ideas, but I think they're, you know, willing to, you know, uh, to, to look at something like this and, you know, maybe they'll appreciate it. And I'll tell them you guys help me too. Um, so I wrote down some things, um, over the, over the years of, of, being a, a beer drinker of, um, of just the six years I've been doing reviews, I found a lot of beers that I like, a lot of ones I appreciate, and then they disappear. I don't know, and I haven't taken a whole lot of time to uh, research to find out if they're um, been retired or discontinued or whatever you would call it. They don't make it anymore. Um, so I'm going to name some of these out of the 6,000 some subscribers I got you guys would probably know because some of these beers are probably made in your state you know or something so um, if I get enough people that says you know about certain ones yeah that's Jerry that's no longer made you will never be able to get that again something like that so I can mark it off you know so they don't so what I'm doing is I'm giving them ideas. I told them that I'm looking for malt liquors because I can't find like a whole lot of different ones. Um, Old English, I think, my, I don't know if it's the high gra gravity, one of my favorites, not, not the high gravity necessarily, just regular Old English um, is, is, I think the, it might be the high gravity that's done, but I think you can still get the Old English, can't you? Just a regular one. Um, I didn't, I wrote it down here, just Old English, um, but uh, I don't, I don't think I've, I don't think I'm seeing it anymore, so I'm not, I'm not sure about that one, but uh, anyway, so let me just start at page one, tell you what I got so far, that way you'll know, and then you can put on your thinking caps, and give me some, give me some advice about something I could tell these folks that are got a, a brand new liquor store uh, well it's, it's not a new building it's an old building like I said it's kind of a hole in the wall but it has potential and uh, I'd like to see them be successful with it and if I can help them and you guys can help me help them get a good you know get a good um, foundation to build this liquor store into something that catches people's eyes going you know going around um, so or going by you know so um so here's what i got okay i just started off i had malt liquors to look for and carry okay so <clears throat> these are some ideas for them to 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 look into i know I, the distribution thing it always confuses me because i don't know i guess there's some states that can't get certain beer brands i i guess Oklahoma must be one of those, one of those states that can only get certain stuff, um, 
like for example, I don't I don't guess we can get I, I think Red Dog beer is still made, which was one of the ones I drank back in the nineties and then it, it then it disappeared. But and I thought they just got rid of it. But I I've heard not too long ago that it, it's still being made. But I don't know can Oklahoma not get it anymore? You know, I don't know. That's it baffles me. But you know, I don't know if, if just some liquor stores just aren't carrying it anymore or if we just can't get it in our state anymore. But I was just wondering if these folks could order it, you know, have something different that other liquor stores don't, that I don't carry anymore. I don't. So anyway, so I'm going to name these off to you guys. You can tell me if they're discontinued, retired or whatever, and I'll mark them off if you guys... If only one person says, yeah, I don't think that carry it, I don't think that's anywhere anymore, it's gone. Um, I'm not gonna mark it off, but if two or three say, yeah, that's not around anymore, then I'll, I'll, I'll know for sure there's three opinions, mark it off. Um, I just don't have a whole lot of time to sit in front of a computer and, and research a bunch of stuff, you know? I, it's just not part of my lifestyle right now. Uh, so I depend on you guys to, to tell me stuff so so let's see here okay so these are all not all of them there's some there's a lot on here that I have reviewed but never found again and there's some on here that I've heard of seen reviewed but we've never gotten it here in Oklahoma as far as I know okay so here we go some of these may, like I said, some of these may be discontinued or retired years ago. I don't know, but I would like to try them. So, anyway. Okay, so this is this list here is the malt liquors to look for and carry. Okay, so Schlitz Red Bull malt, malt liquor, the 40-ounce bottle, 5.9% ABV. I have reviewed that, but never found it anymore. I liked it. Um, so this, and then also there's the Schlitz Red Bull Malt Liquor XL. I think it means extra, extra long. I, think, I don't know if it's like extra long flavor or, or what the XL meant. Um, it's a five point, it's also a 5.9% 40 ounce. Now the 40 ounce bottles, in my opinion, are pretty popular. I like them. I like reviewing them. I like to be able to get a 40 ounce bottle of a beer that you can sit there and drink on, watch a movie. You don't have to keep going back and get other bottles. Um, and they're just, they're just fun, you know, I like them. And I think they're popular, so I'm telling them a lot of the 40 ounce beers. Um, okay, so also, only seen once, and I got to review it. But what's weird is I can't find the review on my channel. It baffles me. So. The Schlitz Blue Bull, OML. I think it's like original, original malt liquor or something like that. Or uh, OML malt liquor, five point nine percent, forty ounce bottle. Uh, and then also the Saint Ides malt liquor, eight point two percent ABV, uh, forty ounce bottle. That I've. Seen I've seen somewhere, but I don't, nobody, not everybody has it, but I think it's still in Oklahoma. It's just really hard to find. Um, so there's that one. Uh, Country Club Malt Liquor. I don't know if they still make that, but I'd love to try that. It's a 40 ounce bottle, 6%. Um, then Old English. And then there's one called Three Floyd's Region Riot Malt Liquor, 7.1%, which sounds interesting um i don't know if it's a 40 i think it's a 40 ounce bottle but i'm not sure about that one uh red horse beer slash malt liquor eight percent um schlitz bull ice iml iml ice ice malt liquor um i don't know if that one's still around or not maybe you guys do uh, Magnum Malt Liquor, 40 ounce bottle. I'd love to try that one too. Caribou Malt Liquor, 40 ounce. Jaguar Malt Liquor, 40 ounce. And Big Bear. 
So that's all I have there. Um, so if any of those sound familiar to you, if you had them in your state, there are the breweries in your state, and you know that those are not made anymore, let me know. Um, if you if you know of other malt liquors I didn't mention there, let me let me know. Um, there's some there's some on here that of course I didn't mention, like Steel Reserve. Uh, this, those are basic. You find those everywhere. I still find um, Axe Head. Uh, some of those other ones, Side Pocket, is still around, I think. Um, some of those that I really didn't... Um, I like Steel Reserve. It's just that, you know, it's... I'd like to see a different stuff. This is different stuff to me that if they could get a hold of any of these, that would be cool. Okay, so... <clears throat> then they didn't have... I don't think they had any Mexican beer in there um, yet. Their beer selection wasn't wasn't very big yet, um, but I wanted to give them some advice about some good Mexican beers to get. Um, I didn't mention stuff like Tecate, Sol, um, uh, Dos Equis, uh, which are good Mexican beers, just not my favorites. So I told them my favorites. So I think they're you know also very popular. They might be a little bit more pricey than Tecate and Dos Equis, um, but uh, I told them Modelo, Modelo Negra, Corona Extra, Corona Familiar, Estrella Jalisco, Bohemia, and Victoria. So if they could get those, you know, that would be cool. Um, and then, and then the other ones too, because there's many, many, many fans of, of the, some of the ones I didn't mention. Uh, just, these are just my top, my top seven that I like. Okay, and then I put on there Mexican beer Jerry can't find. I put Indio. It might be only one in Mexico. You can't get it. Maybe in the states. Um, I definitely not seen it in Oklahoma. So. Montejo, Leon, Bohemia Clara, Bohemia Wisen, Superior, and Modelo Reserva, 5.5%. These are ones I have not seen here, but if they can maybe get some, that would be cool. Let me mention something else, too. Um, there, if some of these beers may not sell good here i don't know but i'm thinking if i was a liquor store owner i would get stuff and try and you know do not get a big bunch of it but just get some to see how it sells you know see if it sells good um see if there's a big interest in it if there's not then i won't order it anymore you know so um I just think liquor store owners should be willing to try stuff to see how it sells. Maybe they do. Maybe they do that. Um, but uh, it would be cool if they could, you know, take my advice and try and try and get some. Um, Eric took my my email. I gave one of my cards. It has my Gmail on there. Um, he's gonna, you know, contact me. I think if he. Find, you know, if he finds some of the things I mentioned just in the store. Um, so, if they can contact me if they get something that I request in. That'd be cool. Okay, so some of the, I said, so I have here also listed liquor store features I appreciate. The pick six features. I don't know if every liquor store, if it works in every liquor store or not, but what I like about it, and I told Eric, is that um, when I go into a liquor store, I don't want to get six packs of stuff just to review one beer. I like to get, you know, the six pack holder and get six different stuff. Um, with my budget, I, you know, can't afford to buy six packs of beer just to review one out of each of them. Uh, so for, for the money, it's better for me to be able to get six different individual bottles so I told him to pick six features would, would be good so I wrote that down here 
Also, the pick six thing comes in handy. Also, if a beer gets broke in a six pack, they can put that out there instead of, you know, getting rid of it or send it back or whatever they do. Um, so I told them the pick six feature would be good. So I wrote that down here. Um, they'd already had, I think, an idea to get some of these, but um, Eric, I wrote it down, I think, anyway. The miniature slash shooter bottles of liquor. Uh, I just recently got an interest in those. So, uh, um, so they they wrote they wrote that they wrote that down and probably going to get some of those. Uh, willing to break up six packs for individual sale. I have one liquor store that does that for me, uh, and I appreciate that. Um, the forty ounce size bottles of malt liquor are popular. Um, wrote that down here. Nice assortment of Mexican beer. Willing to order something to see if it sells good. I mentioned that already. Um, when liquor store staff don't leave past date beer on shelf. That makes me irritated. Um, that seems to be a, 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 a regular thing with a lot of liquor stores. They don't check stuff. Um, and I did also write on here making a shelf or table for beer past its date and sell it for cheaper i found one liquor store that did that and i like that feature um some beer it's past date but yet the abv's high and it's probably still good so i'm willing to take a chance on that and buy and buy that kind of beer so if they can do that that would be cool um these days um you go some liquor stores high traffic um with the stuff going around the virus flu whatever uh, covid um maybe some hand sanitizer available a big bottle on the counter um i think that'd be a good feature um so i put on here also when a liquor store has a unique sign in the window that advertises something they have that not a lot of liquor stores have so if they were able to get some of these hard to find beers, they could have a sign on the window that says uh, unique beer selection or something like that. Um, you know, stop on, you know, check us out, check it out or something like that. If I went by there and I saw that, even if I wasn't a reviewer, I'd be like, hmm, what, what is this? Let me go see what they got. So stuff like that could draw people in. Um, let's see. Um, for them to maybe take, uh, let's see, I put side note, I would take a little liquor store tour around my area and see what other liquor stores have, and it might give you a few ideas, and you may have already done this. I told them because they may have already done that. Um, so, also, I got imports that are good. Um, these are just ones that I've liked. Um, and a lot of these I have seen in liquor stores I've been in within the past couple years. Um, and ones I've pretty much already reviewed. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so um, I put Heineken. Uh, it's very popular. I, I like it. Not everybody does. Uh, I put Stella Artois. I never can remember how to pronounce it. <laughs> I say Artois. Sometimes I think it's Artois, but I think it's Artois. Um, Grolsch, I like Grolsch. Moosehead, uh, Foster's Lager, Foster's Ale, Beck's, Red Stripe, 1664, Molson Golden, St. Polly Girl, Labatt Blue, George Killian's Irish Red Lager. So there's some of those. Um, Give me a few, few things that you think, a few ideas on imports if you want, um, that we can get in the states that you know. Um, okay, here's good beer I can't find anymore, but may exist. Some of those ones, those imports, uh, no, I think they're all still being made. Um, so here's some, um, this list, like I said. Uh, so I can't, I can't find Pearl Lager anymore. I don't know if they've done away with it. Uh, Mick, uh, Michelob Original Lager. 
And I'm not totally sure about that because if that's, if Michelob original lager is what it says, it's the original back when I used to drink Michelob and liked it, that would be interesting. I haven't found one that says Michelob original lager here, all of its Michelob Ultra. So I don't know if that's actually something. Do you guys know if that's if Michelob original lager e exists somewhere? Um, okay, here's one I think might be retired, but I'm not sure. Stroh's lager. I reviewed Stroh's and Stroh's Light, um, which was a good beer and I liked it, but I can't find it anymore. Old Style, Does that is that still around? Because I'm not sure about that one either. Schaefer, Schaefer beer. Um, I got Red Dog on here um, and Old Milwaukee. So let me know about those. Is that, is that all? No? <clears throat> okay, so they're not going to want to just have stuff that's that could be pricey or not everybody might not have an interest in it. So I, they probably, this is probably a basic, they already know this, but I just wrote it down. Good beer to carry and is popular that they'll definitely make sales off of. Um, but Budweiser and Bud Light, Coors Banquet and Coors Light, Blue Moon, Pabst Blue Ribbon, Lone Star, Rolling Rock, Bush Beer, Keystone, Miller High Life, Natural Light, and Michelob Ultra. I believe all of those are still being made. I don't know. It's been a while since I've bought some of those, but um, most of them, it wasn't that long ago I reviewed them or have done a, a versus battle with or something like that. Okay, that's all I got. So, almost 30 minutes. I knew it was going to be kind of long, so I did it on my lunch break. Um, but, uh, just let me know, <clears throat> just let me know if you have, if, if you have some information for me about discontinued or retired beers. I know there was recently a list that they just did recently of some stuff that was discontinued. Um, I don't think I mentioned any of it, uh, except the old English, but I think it was just the high gravity one. Uh, but so yeah, if you guys got some ideas, you have some information for me, that'd be cool if you comment that um that helps me out i can write down some stuff that you tell me to uh, to finish off this little notebook i'm going to give them uh, maybe it'll help them out maybe they'll appreciate it oh also um eric was interested he asked me he says uh, hey man do you do you go into liquor stores and um and and record what they have and stuff like that i said yeah i do I've done a couple of liquor stores like that. Was it a couple? I think I did one liquor store and one grocery store, I think, videos of it. But he wants me to come in and do that um, and kind of show their place. So I told him I would do that. It would be easier because I want to go in and I want to find something that I want to buy if I do that, so that's kind of why, why I wanted to do this for them, you know, so they can maybe get some stuff that I'm interested in and I can be buying it on the video. Um, so uh, there'll be a video of that maybe sometime. Uh, he, he wants to be, you know, he wants the video of, of his store to kind of put it on the map, to kind of show they exist, which I think that's cool. Um, and. I'm honored that he asked if I would do that. So um, I told him that I, the ones I have done, um, I asked permission from the person that's behind the counter, make sure the manager would be all, you know, be a, okay with it. And he says, I understand that. So, okay, I'm going to end it there. I thank you all for watching. Um, like I said, help me out with my ideas. Put your thinking caps on. Um, let me know. Could could be some good ideas that I didn't think about. It wouldn't be out of the ordinary that I that I didn't think about it. So, uh, in in the information about retired beers. 
That'd be good too. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.